All right. So um, we're shifting gears. I know the last two days have been more focused around the challenges and the talks have been focused more around applications and algorithms. Um, Sanky just mentioned today's talks are going to be more focused on quantum information science. And one of the big things that I want you to see as a trend kind of across all of the capabilities you're going to see is that it's about doing quantum information science research at scale. Um, and this at scale piece has been a big part of our journey over the last four years. So, you know, when we first put a quantum computer online, um, we were dealing with single digit qubits, and the ask from our users was pretty simple. It was, I want to be able to, I have a circuit, and I want to run it on a backend. And, and that worked for a good bit of time. But as these systems scaled, and we started to need, we started, need, we started to have larger and larger systems, we needed to change the interface because we weren't just running single circuits. We needed to be able to run multiple circuits. We needed to be able to augment them in different ways. And around 2022, we built a service called the Kiskit Runtime Service. And to capture some of the interfaces that Kiskit had defined, we started to build a new execution model. So in Kiskit around 2022, we saw um, the debut of two primitives, Estimator and Sampler, which were really motivated by looking across a variety of application um, libraries and um, looking at key operations that you wanted to run on uh, quantum functions. So either you were sampling a distribution or you were trying to estimate some expectation value of an observable. And so with these two processes, um, we effectively, it gave us a set of requirements to how do we optimize the, the execution environment in which you can use larger systems to run algorithms. And these primitives are still at the foundation of a lot of the examples you saw throughout this week. Um, but earlier this week, I announced that we're actually expanding on this interface um, by adding another primitive, which is executor, um, to, support, uh, to support the samplematic enabled workflows that you're going to hear about a little bit later today. One thing I want you to take away from a lot of these talks, and also just this release, is that this is an expansion, right? Um, Estimator and Sampler allowed us to really scale the workloads we have today. And the rollout of something like Executor is expanding on that because we're starting to see the capabilities that we need to run to scale out the circuits um, uh, for advantage um, evolve. And we need a new way of doing that research. So Executor and Sample, or, uh, Estimator and Sampler provide you the tools you need to be able to run different types of algorithms. And something like Executor starts to enable you to do capability development. And what we're really trying to do across these three interfaces is balance giving you access to run the types of capabilities you need to run at scale, um, and we're trying to balance convenience and control in your ability to do that. So for example, let's taking you a little bit on a history lesson here. Um, when we launched uh, Estimator and Sampler, we started to support what we called resilience levels, which gives you effectively a cost accuracy trade-off at very distinct levels. Not too dissimilar for how you use the transpiler today. As users got more comfortable using this and started to try to scale workloads, they needed more knobs. So we expanded on this, and we gave you discrete kind of configurable um, options within, within these interfaces um, to tweak, to basically customize different methods that were supported in the, in the runtime. And now, with, with the evolution of not only being able to use the capabilities that we had today, but being able to also design new capabilities, now the executor workflow, our goal uh, behind the, uh, the executor workflow is really designed to enable you to be able to develop these capabilities and actually stack them on top of each other to scale, scale workloads. And so this is, this is an example of where we're really trying to balance this convenience and control. But we need you guys to actually inform how we continue to do this. And let's look at a, look, let's look at a case study across these. So when we look at PEC, and as we're evolving these workflows, um, there's different, there's, there's different things we had to consider. So PEC naturally is kind of focused on um, give, uh, allowing you to scale workloads where you're trying to estimate observables. And if you try to do this through the sampler, you could build an end-to-end -end pipeline. But a challenge you run into is that when you, start to, when you start to actually implement this and start to execute it on the QPU, you start to have this expansion of data. And, and that, that gives you, that, this, it, it starts to expand to hundreds of megabytes, and, and that becomes untenable as you really try to run these uh, algorithms at scale. 
Now, in Estimator, you can, of course, have some configured options where you can trigger these methods, but you don't really have the control to be able to customize that throughout your circuit so that, so that you can you know, converge on the variance, uh, converge on the variance faster. And then finally, with Executor, what we're really trying to do is bring a lot of these, bring both of these options together. So one, we want you to be able to have maximum control, but not have to deal with um, the data management aspect of this and start to continue to scale these capabilities. Um, and over time, be able to develop utility functions so that you can get the convenience that you expect from estimate. But as we, as we look at another case study, like PEC and shaded light cones, um, this is where the existing, existing primitives are a little bit prohibitive for you to be able to experiment new ways of scaling these types of algorithms. So within the sampler, you still run into this expansion of data. In the estimator, you actually don't have the controls today to be able to go experiment with how shaded light cones could um, provide you the trade-offs, um, or, or how shaded light cones would actually help you deal with some of the scaling challenges that you see. And, and, this, is, and this, is the, this is an example where the executor workflow will actually enable you to start to go experiment with these things. And once we saw these challenges um, across these primitives, that's ultimately what motivated the launch of, the, uh, launch of this new experience with Executor. So as you can see, it's been a learning journey. First, we focused on, first we focused on providing you two interfaces that allow you to run different algorithms at scale. And as we, as we start to see these capabilities expand and the need to layer these different capabilities on each other, um, we needed to roll out new interfaces. So here are about five different things that we're considering when we think about how, how these interfaces need to evolve. Performance is at the core of all of this because we need to be able to run these circuits efficiently across, um, across the hundreds of qubits. Um, convenience, flexibility, debugging, and standardization are gonna actually help us develop new capabilities. And ultimately, um, these two different types of interfaces, basically um, primitives for algorithms research, um, need to be informed by new capability development for prim with, from primitives that like, allow you to do quantum information science. And you can imagine that over time, um, something like an executor can be used to actually build implementation of these samplers and estimators, and that's actually where we're headed in the future, to enable you to have transparent, you can transparently still run the workloads you run using sampler and estimator today, but we actually believe that rolling out this new interface will enable us to allow you to actually configure these capabilities through these abstracted interfaces. So one thing I want you to take away from this is um, that these interfaces, that these, this is an expansion of interfaces. We plan to continue to support estimator and sampler, and execute is just another new way for you to do research. And, the capabil and, the, and the, a lot of the executor work, workflows are actually gonna start to power more productive experiences with estimator and sampler. Another piece you're gonna hear about later in this talk today is a lot of the, a lot of the capabilities that we're enabling um, on the error mitigation side deal with a trade-off of sampling overhead. As we, uh, 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 there's gonna be a second part of uh, tools that are gonna be discussed later today which are focused on less so a sampling overhead trade-off but more of a space trade-off. We're gonna look at things like dynamic circuits and error detection which are additional capabilities that you can layer on. And um, the executor primitive actually is gonna, be a, uh, is gonna be a key essential ingredient as we start to look forward to not just enabling error mitigation methods that need to then get layered on, layered on into the sampler and estimator experiences to power your algorithms, but we, you can actually also expect us, um, to see the development of error correction capabilities on top of this interface. And we're gonna, and, and, part, of, and part of doing that is with the, with the executor workflow, we can do that in open source, we can learn from, we can learn to iterate between, we can learn to iterate on what these capabilities look like, how they need to interface, and then as we start to build some standards to work, to how they need to fit into algorithmic workflows, we can start to move them into the sampler and estimator workflows to enhance how you run algorithms. So I know that was a lot, um, but we're gonna have about four talks over the next two hours um, that are gonna go deeper into these experiences. And for that, I want to invite Ian on stage. <laughs>